Wagwan beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we'll be styling and customizing this unit from Najula Hair. So I'm going to be giving you guys a first impression, then we're going to move on to the styling later on. So this is how the unit is looking straight out of the packaging. It is a 360 lace wig. It is in 150% density and I got my unit in 16 inches. So it is a body wave wig as you guys can see. And I love body waves and I'm so sad when I have to wash them because I won't get that straight out of the package curl again and if you're a little bit nervous about plucking the frontal and all of that the hair already came with its own baby hair it even looks pre-plucked so i'm a little bit anal about how my lace frontals look so i am going to bleach the knot a little bit i bleached the knots for about 10 minutes if you want to see like a full detailed video on that i did a video on how i bleached the knots on my units so i'll just leave that link so you guys could check it out and this is how bouncy the hair is in full for it being 150 percent density now let's move on to the installation girl is you guys ready because i'm ready for the install of this unit so i won't be doing the ball cap method i'm a lazy girl okay i just like to put on my wig and then take them off at night so i don't do too much so if you're like me I got you and this hair is long girl it's long um, for 26 inches it's a real nice length um, as I told you guys earlier I bleached the knots and then I put some foundation powder to match my complexion a little bit better so whatever powder you have at home if you have a translucent powder that matches your complexion you can go ahead with that and um, yeah just to help match it better if you don't have like a tinting spray a lace tinting spray if you want to know how to make a lace tint i did a video on that as well so i'll leave the link below so you can check that out if you want to do like a lace tint so the first thing i do typically is just align my wig make sure that it is you know in a comfortable spot on my forehead i don't want it to come too forward because then it's going to look like a helmet and then i don't want it to too to be too far back because it's going to show up my big ass forehead and we don't want that either so I have a naturally P-shaped head, so I usually go for a medium or, or large size wig. Even though my head looks small, it's actually pretty big in the back. And it gives that natural hump. So um, I like to like install my wig first before I take off the excess lace, just to make sure that the wig is fitted properly. So as you guys saw, I used the Got To Be Freezing Spray, then the blow dryer to make it dry. And before I even move on to the next step, I'm just trying to make sure that my hair um, I get that center part right in the center before I um, flat iron. So what I'm using is a wax stick. You can get this basically at any beauty supply store. Most beauty supply stores are supposed to have wax sticks by now. If not, most of the wig websites do sell um, wax sticks as an add-on. So you can check that out. And then all I do is just comb it out. This is just basically prepping my hair to, to flat iron it. I said my hair right like it's my hair so yeah yeah girl it's 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 my hair <laughs> and um yeah once i do that i just comb it out make sure that it's smooth because you know sometimes with free parting hair it tends to be a little bit like bulky on top so i do this like in preparation to get it flat then i'm gonna cut off the excess lace since i'm satisfied with where the lace is laying on my forehead and um, I'm just cutting off the excess lace around the frontal that I don't need. But you just want to be careful with that because you don't want to overdo it. Then I went back in with the Got To Be Freezing Spray for the lifted lace. And then I'm going to tie it down and do the styling of the hair. Now first thing I do is I flat iron the root of the hair to make sure that it lays flat. And then I'm going to show you guys how I use the flat iron to make loose curls in the hair.
Once I'm done doing the loose curls with the flat iron, I'm just gonna take a wide teeth comb and comb that out because I like when the hair is loose. The waves are just so much more flawless. You don't have to worry about keeping the curls tight and it's just effortless and free. So I'm just removing my um, the head wrap just to see how my lace is looking if I need to do a touch up, um, customize it a little bit more. You can do baby hairs if you wish to or you can just like brush the baby hair back. It just depends on your style and what look you're going for. And this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think about this unit. Um, I did get some shedding um, earlier. I think that had to do with um, bleaching the knots. A lot of time when I bleach the knots on units, I get a little bit of loose hair. But once you wash it out, it should be fine. And once you comb it out, it should be great. And that is all that I have for you guys today. The details will be down in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye guys.